All eyes are on Serena Williams, who returned to tennis today at the French Open, dressed like a superhero. Look at her. Serena took the court in her first round match against Czech Republic's Kristina Pliskova. Serena won the match in straight set. Serena gave birth about nine months ago to her daughter, Alexis, and it has sparked a lot of conversation. Can women have it all? And how do you maintain a work-life balance? In fact, this is something that Shark Tank investor Barbara Corcoran recently spoke about on her iHeartRadio podcast. Listen. Stop striving for work-life balance. It just doesn't exist. I searched for it for the first 40 years of my life and then gave up, and I'm a lot happier for it. Okay, uh, I do want to, we were just talking amongst ourselves because I would love to get Kristen, who's been co-hosting with us hey, uh, Kristen. all week. Come on, Kristen, come on over here. Kristen, Kristen I call everybody. Yes. And Hello. the reason Hello. why I would love to bring you in, first of all, we're so happy that you're joining us and you're with Thank us you. uh, till Me tomorrow, too. correct? Yes. Till tomorrow. You are a mom of two. I'm a new mom. And you're, I feel like we have a difference here in the, in the sense that I just gave birth to Sophie like 10 months ago. You, your kids are 17 and 13? 17 and almost 12 and a half, yeah. And when I heard Barbara say that it's almost impossible to have a work-life balance, I, I got upset because I feel like I've been able to manage that as difficult it is, as it is. And I'm not saying that we don't need mandated family leave in this country and we're behind from the rest of the developed world. However, I felt it was pessimistic. But then again, maybe you feel differently. Look, it might be pessimistic in your position because you are still figuring this out. But I gotta tell you, I've had a couple of years around here to figure this out, so it keeps changing. So what's normal for you now is not gonna be normal for you in six months. What's normal for your job now, what's normal for your body now, what's normal for your hormones or for your baby's life is not going to be the same. And so even though Barbara was talking about like, it took her time to figure out her balance, it's going to keep evolving. And I know we were speaking about this, but I'm all about like, stay present with where you are now, because that shit's gonna change. Oops, sorry, hello. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. <laughs> but you know, it's it's going to keep changing. And I think we have to keep allowing our perception of it to keep evolving. Instead of getting rigid about this is what it has to be because that's what my mom said. That's what my girlfriend said. Let it keep evolving. I, got, I do. I love that. But I got to challenge it once again because it felt to me, and I only take this personally because two years ago, I was scared to become pregnant. I was scared to have a baby because I thought I would never work again. Yep. What a mm. dangerous, and I, it's ingrained in our world. So I'm just proud We're of it. We're not looking at you like you're crazy. Yeah, I can see I you having that thought. Yeah. It's, yeah. Miso it's a misogynistic totally. society here. Not in even America. just misogynistic, but think about that. Like, I remember I was out to here going to E Entertainment, like, hey, I can't wait to go to work. And they're like, yeah, you're going to take maternity leave in five minutes. Our investment in you as our talent is going to be short circuited because you're going to be out on like nursing leave or but whatever that's else. What bothers me? That's because the business. Yes. You know what? But it is changing. And I want to say this to you because I know you're thinking about being a mom. It's changing. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you see Silicon Valley offering offering mandated family leave, family leave for a year. You see companies like Tegna really help empower me to combine motherhood and work. And I know not everyone's as lucky, but I feel like we are progressing. I do. I, you know, I think that, well, first of all, I think it is possible to have it all because I think that we define what having it all is. I've expressed my um, discomfort with the idea of becoming a, a mom now, especially with my career, because we all know there's a doppelganger right behind trying to replace you at any mm -hmm. moment, and the vultures will circle at any point. Yeah. And, and the thing like, about Erica, it is, you're pregnant, that's such good yeah, news, here's my resume. The thing about it yeah. is, companies will pit women against each other anyway, but I have to say, when I say that I have it all, I say that every morning to myself because I believe that if I do not say that, I will never be happy and I'll never believe that I'm content in my life. Amen. And that's the reason why I believe I have Affirmations it Affirmations yeah. are powerful. Yeah. Thank so you. Where you have it now. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Over your heads.